To learn how to test in Scopy, we're going to start in LT Spice because schematics are a little bit easier to understand. And what we have in Scopy, which has two function generators, the first one's called W1 and its potentials with respect to ground, and it has a 50 ohm series resistance. Scopy has two channels for an oscilloscope, and the first one is called 1 plus and the other side of its channel is 1 minus and it's truly differential it's not tied to to ground like a normal oscilloscope this is blue because this node is already tied to ground and in LT spice you can only label a node one thing and ground will take precedence so if I put in if I want to do a sine excuse me triangle wave all right, I can go 2.5 volts or minus 2.5 volts to 2.5 no delay 5 milliseconds up 5 milliseconds down simulate for two periods Oops. The period needs to be 10M. So there's a little bit debugging there for free. And you can see that the V1 plus measured from here to here is the same as the input because this is considered infinite. All right. But real things. Um, even boards that are dirty or air has a finite impedance and even if it was 10 mega ohms in between these two nodes you get about the same but what if we were to measure something small like 100 ohms now the voltages don't match up there's a voltage drop and that's because we're getting a voltage division that um, which is essentially whatever V in is time or W1 times 100 divided by the sum of these resistances which would be 150 and that's where your voltage drop is coming from now if you have 1k it's pretty close because now you have a 100k divided by 1050 and even 10k it's almost exactly the same, but you see why in a lot of lab manuals they're always using 10 kilo ohms of resistance. Um, it's really because function generators have this 50 ohms series resistance. Not only that, but let's do this with a capacitor. Now I d I'm going to change it from a sine wave, uh, from a triangle wave to a sine wave so that we don't get any harmonics. Okay, but it'll still be 0 to uh, 2.5. We have 100 hertz. And let's rerun it. And it, it's still pretty close. All right. Let's increase this frequency to 100 kilohertz. Decrease the simulation time. And rerun. And now notice this is our V1 to ground is now a lot less than what's being put in and what's going on is the impedance of that capacitor decreases as you increase the frequency and so if you were to try to measure this capacitor or do something with this capacitor as is that 50 ohm will affect it not only that but I can if I was doing a a filter a 
low pass filter and let's say this was a hundred hundred ohms okay this would be the ideal filter but the true the true part of that filter the true response of that filter will include that 50 ohm series resistance okay. and this would be the output of the filter so rather than the cutoff frequency um, being 1 divided by 2 pi divided by R1 divided by C1 it's the sum of these times C1 so that's what's going to go on when I show you Scopy so that'll be the the next video